What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create the symbiote toxin using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here, just ignore Carnage, I don't know what he's doing there, and choose a new character slot. Now, this character, of course, we're going to be making is the Symbio Toxin, and I was really surprised. After I made, you know, I think it was the Mania video, I said, you know, I'll happily make more Symbiotes if you guys want them, and I made Hybrid, but the most requested Symbio was actually toxin and I really was not expecting that don't get me wrong I love the character of toxin and I'm so glad I can make him for you guys in this game but I just wasn't expecting him to be the most popular so it's really great to hear that there are a lot of toxin fans out there right so let's get started so with the weapons we're gonna leave that for now of course we are gonna give him claws but just not yet we're gonna leave that just for a bit now for the head let's start with the head so the head I always give toxin when I try to create him is Scarlet Spider now, I can pretty much tell you straight away everything you're going to need for this, but the body is the thing I question the most, and we'll be talking about that in a little bit. So, let's do the body last, before we get the claws. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do the body and then we'll get the claws, but you know what I mean. Right, so, next up, we don't need a helmet, attachments, neck, hair, don't need anything like that. We'll go with the hands. The hands are going to be black, just like that. The arms, I would say just make them red. Because, you know, it's not like the Carnage symbiote where it's all, you know, lined and gooey and everything. It's it's very much quite solid. It's like a body, basically. It's like a, a muscular body, but it's just all red. That's basically what Carnum's... Carnum? Toxin, sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking of uh, Carnum from the game. Uh, that's basically Toxin's arms, you know, or his body, whatever. Uh, then we're going to go for the hips. And you're just going to make them black as well. And again, legs... Just make them black. No detail really needed there, so it's best to just do solid colors. Now then, this is the tricky part that I always, you know, go, should I do that one? Should I do this one? So originally, I chose this piece for Carnage. Uh, well, not Carnage, for Toxin, but I use Carnage's piece. And yeah, that looks pretty good. But then I also thought about this one down here, which I know I did use in the Magneto video, but you got to think... If you just ignore that bit at the bottom, that is pretty much perfect, you know? That is Toxin right there. I mean, I know there's the pink bit, but if you can ignore that, it looks pretty good. But that's the thing. Can I ignore it? Well, you know, it's, that's the thing I always question. Can I ignore it long enough to want to keep it? Or eventually will I say, no, I don't like it. I need to go back to the Carnage piece. I guess there's also this one, but that's more of a hoodie. Uh... Yeah, see, that's kind of your only options, is either Claw or Carnage. Ah, it's so hard to choose. I don't know, because I just, I don't want it to look exactly like hybrid, you know? I want them to look a little bit different. So I think I might go with this one. But I just hope you guys like it, because I know the Toxin piece is probably the one that's on everyone's... Sorry, the Carnage piece. I imagine that is the one that's on everyone's minds. I, I don't know, maybe that does look better. This is a tough one, guys. You know what? We'll go with that one. I guess we'll go with that one. But we're not going to give him the detail in the arms like... Uh like that. We're not going to do that because I just think that's overkill. That just looks too much like uh, Carnage. You know, like it's like a, a calm Carnage. <laughs> He's a bit calmed down uh, in that form. Now then, for the weapons. I, yeah, I'm happy with that torso. I, I think we'll leave it. For the weapons, we're going to go with the Panther Claws, like usual, and we're going to make them black. Now, I believe there are two blacks. There's this one and there's this one. Yeah, you definitely want to go with that one so it fits the hands. I've said this in multiple videos, but just in case you haven't seen the other videos, it may look like the black on the claws and the hands and the legs are different shades, but it's actually more just the lighting, uh, you know, 
the darkness and all that kind of stuff in the customizer room but as soon as you get out into chronopolis the colors all are pretty much exactly the same and it looks great you can see that from my mania video a lot of the colors look like they're not going to look that great and as soon as we're in chronopolis it just fits perfectly it looks like mania the symbiote so yeah we'll go with that one i think it looks pretty cool now from what i understand because i always get this wrong well, not wrong, but I always have to look it up. I believe Carnage has black webs. So we're going to have to give him a black web, you know, for when he web swings. But we're going to move into that a little bit. So, obviously, Toxin was originally a police officer. So should he be able to track things and dig things? Because, you know, I guess he was doing some investigating, I guess. Or is that a little far-fetched? I feel like that makes sense. I mean, also, he can dig. And he's got claws, so I think that works pretty nicely. I'm going to go with that. We're going to have that. We're not going to have portal create or time manipulation. We'll have super strength. Fix things? Uh, nah. Vine cut? Yes. Deflect? I mean, maybe? Have I given deflect to the other symbiotes? I can't even remember. Toxin's pretty cool, so why not? Crack Lego walls? Yes. Uh, obviously, because he's strong. Mind control? No. Techno access? No? Grapple, no. Wall climbing, yes. Alright. That sounds good to me. Now, for square, on tap square, we're going to have fighting. On hold square, we're going to have targeted lunge. On circle, a lot of the symbiotes have made it pretty similar, so you kind of just got to, you know, do the same thing, really. It's different designs, more or less. Uh, for circle, you know, you could go with stealth, maybe, because some symbiotes can turn invisible. Uh, I think I'll just leave it. I usually do just leave this because I can't really think of anything that fits the characters quite well. So we'll just go with that. So he basically just attacks and charges. If he could shoot webs, I would do it, you know, but unfortunately he can't. I know some people have said, why don't you just give him the arrows? It might not actually be arrows, but it is. Trust me. Look, even from the sound, if I just shut up for a second, watch. You can see that's arrows. It's not webs at all. So it's best to, to just not give them anything, really. All right, so now move on to the X button. So double tap X, he's going to web swing. We're going to have the default web, which is this one. There it is. I just realized it's got a female voice, so I need to change that. Uh, the web color, like I said, I believe Toxin swings with a web, uh, obviously, a <laughs> black web. I don't think it's red. No, that doesn't look right. I think it's definitely black. Cool. All right, so that's that sorted. And then uh, I think that's it. Now, of course, we need to do hold X. I think we'll give him a hyper jump. Why not? That works. So we've done the appearance. We've done the abilities. We've done the weapons. Now we need to move on to the passive traits. So for the health, we're going to go with red. For the health type, we'll just go with standard. For the voice, we'll just go with any old male voice. For the movement speed, last time I did hybrid, I made him fast, and the swinging went really, really weird. So I'm just going to stick with default, because it just makes swinging a lot more fun. And then for the target reticle, we'll go with the web. Um, yep, we'll go web, and that's it. Now, of course, we're just going to name him. And his name is obviously Toxin. Boom. There you go. Toxin. Made in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I think he looks pretty cool. You know, I, the, the only thing I keep second guessing is the torso. I keep thinking, should I use the one that I use for Magneto? But I, I guess that looks more symbiote. The, the only thing that bothers me about the other torso, if it didn't have that pink bit at the bottom, I'd probably choose it because it's absolutely perfect. But seeing as how this one, it kind of looks like a torso... And, you know, it looks a little bit more symbiotic. It's just better. So we'll just go with that one. All right, let's see if we can find a cool planet. I want to see if I can find a cool planet. Because obviously the symbiotes are from another planet. Uh, is that uh, Supreme Intelligence? I think it is. That looks like... Hala, I think. That's Atalan. That's 2099. Eh, we'll just go with that one. That reminds me of Alien for some reason. <laughs> Looks kind of creepy. So yeah, that is my custom-made Toxin in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Toxin into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. 
And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made toxin in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I've got to say, guys, I know I doubted the torso piece a lot because I didn't want to, you know, really copy hybrid too much. I wanted him to look unique. He looks unique, and that looks like toxin to me, so I'm happy. I think he looks cool. So what can he do? Well, we gave him the claws because the claws look awesome. And he can attack. You know, it's, it's a shame I can't shoot webs with circle or anything like that. So I think the claws make up for it when you're making a symbiote. Uh, with square, when you hold it down, we do this. Oh, I love that. Seeing the web icon with toxin, I mean, it kind of feels official <laughs> in a way. I think he'd look honestly perfect if we could have had the hands where it's red at the top. Sorry, the arms where it's red at the top and black on the way down. That would have looked so good, but I'm still happy. Whoa, that's creepy. Look at that way. Look at the way he walks. And of course, you know, he can super jump like this. Whoa, don't mess with Toxin. And he can climb walls as well, which is very nice. And he can web swing, which I want to show in a second. There it is. But I wanted to show it over here so he can hang upside down. Because it looks cool. Yes, look at that. So awesome. Alright, let's go fight some crime with, uh, I believe we've got Carnage here. Hi, Carnage. Another crime. Ugh. And this one's a doozy. Is it? Think you can get to it? Mm. Yes, I can. Whoa, look at that. So easy. So easy. Okay, let's get this guy. I guess when you give them super strength, it's like almost one hit kill, basically, which is very nice. Right, so, oh, more bad guys, okay. Ah, I got him that time. So, luckily, I didn't put super speed on, so we should be able to swing quite good this time. Don't think I care for him. I need a change of scenery. Yep, we can swing properly now, that's good. I heard someone say I need a change of scenery. I think I'm supposed to do those quests, but I thought I did them all. I've been walking for hours. Maybe I can find it. I heard someone say I need a change of scenery. Who you wants a change of scenery? Supply store? Tell me. Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Anyone? She was... No? Maybe? No, they don't. change of scenery. Yeah, I heard you. Oh, is it this person here? Ah, there we go. You just have to answer a question. Let's see. I'm so sick of the cold. I want to move someplace hot. You know anywhere hot? Oh, but I hate the beach, so sand is a big no-no for me. So come on, recommend? I'm guessing... Asgard? <laughs> I'm guessing she wants to go to Asgard. Where do you think I should move to? Yeah, Asgard, wow. Asgard. Yeah, that place must be crazy hot with all that flowing lava going on. And none of that awful sand. <gasps> it's perfect! I'm heading there right away. Well, be careful. You know, it may be hot, but there's lava everywhere. So, and, and you don't have superpowers, so you're not, you know, you're just a civilian. So just be careful. All right, let's head on to Noir. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I think he looks cool. Like I said, if I could just, just have the black uh, and red sleeveless arms, that would have probably made it perfect. But no, I still like it very much. Very much so. And I hope you guys like it as well, because I know Toxin was the most requested symbiote. It was Toxin and uh, Scream. I'm really surprised no one's requested Lasher, because I think Lasher's got a cool design. It's just cool to see a green symbiote, you know? I have made Lasher, and I know you guys want to see Scream. I'm working on Scream at the moment. But uh, if you guys want to see Lasher as well, definitely let me know. Basically trying to do as many of the symbiotes as possible. If they're a possible if they're possible to make, I'll make them. If they're not, you know, can't help it, unfortunately. Whoa! Come on, Toxin. But yeah, Lasher's a pretty cool one. He was quite easy to make, but swinging around with green webs, it's fun. <laughs> it's very, very fun. It just looks cool. I should have probably pressed circle Someone then. Just bumped their way to the top of my best heroes list. Oh, thank you. I'm uh, very grateful. Wee. Like. Oh, Hydra HQ. You would think there would be a lot of bad guys around here, but there actually isn't. It's quite a quiet area, to be honest, despite having so many Hydra people. Wait, have I done that one yet? Oh, I haven't done it. Oh, okay. Uh. I know I'm in the middle of recording a video, guys, but I'm just going to quickly do this. Just because, you know, then I don't have to go do it later. 
Plus, you get to see Toxin ride Ghost Rider's motorcycle, so why not? I think that's pretty cool. And rum! 12 out of 15? There's still a few more to go. Oh man, I thought I was nearly finished. Not for this well, I am nearly before. finished. I just, they're hard to find. Because they don't give you like any checkpoints, I don't think, to say where they all are. Yep, there's nothing going on here. Urgent request from Madam Hydra. Okay, let's swing over here. Anyone who says hi what the heck, Toxin? Toxin, what are you doing? Alright, there we go. The Venom and Toxin, uh, not sorry, Toxin, the Venom and Carnage voice actors in this game are incredible. <laughs> like, honestly, I love those voice actors. I think the voice actor they got for Carnage is perfect because he's absolutely insane. The, the things he says, he's like, time to get crazy. And just, like, some of the stuff he says is just ridiculous. And it's a shame there's just one mission with them two in it. Like, oh, so funny. And they do have, like, idle animation. Uh, work, like voice lines and stuff as well so right let's actually pick one of these guys up this time double attack what you missed him completely see you just can't keep a bad symbiote down like he's absolutely insane which is what I love about Carnage. He's just a nutcase. Thanks. I was in some real hot water. But he's a very bad person. <laughs> very, very bad. Ah! With the uh, the Venom movie that they're making at the moment, I'd like to see that film become like a trilogy. Uh, I think that would be great if the Venom movie kicks off a whole trilogy, and it would be great if we eventually get to the point where they introduce uh, Toxin. I think that would be very, very cool. Toxin on the big screen. Come on, people. That would be amazing. I'd love that so much. Do you have a problem with constant free invasions? If so, then you know who to call. Kang Busters. <laughs> I'm swinging through the old west right now. Egypt usually has some bad guys around here somewhere. I love the music in Egypt here. It's it's amazing. It really is. What? Where's those dudes I always pick on every single day? Oh, I hope I haven't scared them off. I love those guys. Oh. What did you do, Carnage? And launch. Whip. Ow. Oh, there's always bad guys in the Old West. Come on. Gotta be. We will, uh, you know, loop back around to Manhattan and then we'll call it a day. But we've got a, uh, quite a bit to go, yeah. You know, this is a big map. When I say that, we still got a bit to go. We've got to go through uh, Sakaar. And Asgard, well, I, no, Xandar, Asgard, Sakaar, 2099, Medieval England, Wakanda, and then Manhattan. I think that's the order. Come on, where's all the bad guys at? What am I supposed to do? Just hit, hit objects? No, I want to hit things. Living things. Because I'm an idiot. Not an idiot. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. What? Because I'm evil. Well, Toxin's not necessarily evil, really. No, he's actually more of an anti. Would you, would you call him an anti hero? It depends on who's wearing the suit. I mean, I think Eddie's worn the. Uh, Eddie Brock, I think he's worn the Toxin suit as well. Help! Yes, yes, he has, yeah. Uh, it would have been cool if we could have got all of that in this game, like uh, anti-venom toxin, uh, venom toxin, you know, all of them. There's a lot of cool symbiotes. Symbiotes are just awesome, so the more of them in a game, the merrier. I really hope that in Marvel's uh, Spider-Man PS4 game, I hope they don't forget symbiotes in that. You know, I'm not saying they have to be part of the story, to, to be perfectly honest. I think symbiotes have been overdone in Spider-Man games for the story but for fun you know you sh i think it'd be great to unlock symbiotes like black spider-man and uh you know this what else is there like 
it'd be cool if maybe you could unlock Toxin, even if it's just a skin, just a look like Toxin or Venom or Carnage, Anti-Venom, Hybrid, um, all of them, basically. I still think it'd be great to have them. I'm really hoping that Spider-Man PS4 goes absolutely all out and we get just tons of alternate costumes. Like, I want as many as they can add, really. That would be really, really nice. Movie costumes, comic book costumes, animated show costumes, everything you can think of, basically. Also, speaking of animated series, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are interested. It's quite a small build. I just made it for fun because um, I was watching like a little bit of it the other day, but I was like watching a clip of it online uh, on YouTube. Somebody made, they made like a montage, I think, of the, you remember the MTV Spider-Man show? It was like the new animated series one. I think it was called, and I think it was actually canon with the original Sam Raimi movies. Like, I think it was set after the first film. I used to watch it on TV. I don't think it's on anymore, though. It was cancelled, like, sadly, after a... Um, at a one series, unfortunately, but I was watching like a montage people had made of them and it was really cool and it reminded me of the show and so I thought, I wonder if I could make that Peter Parker in the game and I did. So if you guys want me to, I'll uh, try and make a video showcasing how to make the Peter Parker from the MTV Spider-Man new animated series. If you know which one I'm talking about. It was like set, I think it came out in 2003 and it was set after Spider-Man 1. You know, the very first movie, it was set after that. So it was kind of canon with the film's uh, story. It was kind of weird. There was a lot of weird stuff that happened in that show, but it was also quite, I don't I don't want to say mature, but it was. It was quite mature for a kid's show, uh, for an animated show, you know, for children to watch. But it was good, I, I enjoyed it. It's not my favorite Spider-Man cartoon. Obviously, for me, my favorite Spider-Man animated series shows would definitely be the 90s animated series and Spectacular Spider-Man. Obviously, they are just king. They are the best. Um, I've heard from some people now, they watch uh, the 90s animated series now, and they don't enjoy it as much, which is really sad to hear, because I still absolutely adore it. You know, I think one of the coolest moments in that, which a lot of people have turned into a joke, but I love the scene where he's like, get back here, shocker! Like, I think that's great. I just love that scene so much. Um, but yeah, it's really sad to hear that people don't enjoy it as much as they used to and kind of feel like it was more, you know, their childhood uh, memories. Uh, sorry, not memories. Like, imagination making it look that good, but it wasn't that good. But for me, I loved it as a kid, and I love it now. I still love it now. And Spectacular Spider-Man, I have that on Blu-ray, and it's just, it's incredible. Such a great show. Why did they cancel it? Ugh. Same for 90s animated series. Why did they cancel that? All the good stuff gets cancelled, huh, guys? Citizen sucks. Absolutely so sucks. Where can I find the simple life? But yeah, and I might try and make other versions of Peter Parker as well. I've been getting requests from people to make, uh, like... The Amazing Spider-Man, you know, Andrew Garfield. I can't, I don't think he'd actually make his suit because his suit, you know, has, well, like, as in the first movie suit, he has, like, yellow eyes. So I, you can't actually do that. And honestly, I don't think any of the torsos would look any different. It would just look like a, it would just look like Spider-Man, really. But I could try and make Andrew Garfield. And I could also, I've been getting requests to make, like, a civilian version of Tom Holland. And uh, maybe I could try and make Tobey Maguire. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of things I could definitely try out. If you guys want that, if you want to see different versions of Peter Parker, let me know, because the more ideas I can get for uh, these videos, the merrier, because I'm having fun making them. I really am, and whatever you guys want, I will try my best. There are some things, there are some requests I've seen I don't know how to do, unfortunately. Um, you know, but if there ever is a way of doing it, I'll definitely try it out. But yeah, I'm just so glad everyone is this interested in the character creator that they want uh, just multiple requests. That's just awesome. Because I've been excited for this character creator since they announced it. It is incredible. And it's been so worth the wait. And to see that everyone is just as interested in it as I am makes me really happy. And it gets me excited for the future of the LEGO games to see them improve upon the character creator and really get them to the point where everyone's just like, you know, this character creator allows you to make everything. Like, one day we will get to that point and it's going to be amazing and 
with those videos, I'll be able to make like every character ever. So that should be great. Anyway, guys, that will pretty much do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it. You know, Toxin is a really awesome symbiote. I love the character. Um, I was very unsure if I could actually make him look any different to hybrid and toxin uh, sorry carnage you know carnage is in the main game and i used a lot of his pieces to make hybrid and i didn't want toxin to look exactly the same and we have resorted to using that torso piece but honestly as soon as i got into chronopolis i think he looks great i'm not going to complain about it anymore because i think he looks really really cool anyway guys i want to thank you very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe Maybe some new gloves would cheer me up.